What's up guys, it's your Motivational Gamer, and welcome to me dropping my controller. But, but I caught it though. <laughs> so, yeah, ninja school. Alright, so anyway, uh, today's topic of conversation, uh, a couple of things. I'm just doing some leveling here. Um, well, I was doing some leveling until my double XP ran out. But um, I uh, finally uh, broke the sub one minute mark in my Giants 10 team. Um, and now working on getting towards 30 seconds, and I'm also working towards getting my, my Dragons team uh, sub one minute as well. It's currently sitting at like 130. Um, so now we're going to try to get that to sub one minute, and then of course get that to 30 seconds too. Now, uh, I want to give credit uh, to the reason, or I feel one of the reasons uh, that that has changed. Now, there is a unit in particular that I've been looking at for a very long time that I've had in my box for ages, um, but I've always been interested in them, especially after they increased the AI um, capabilities of cleansers in the game. And that particular unit happens to be my man, Jamie, right here. Hold on, let me move my big head. Whoop, right over here. It's a big head right over here. So, Jamie is the Dark Bounty Hunter. Uh, initially, I was looking at him for my R5 team, uh, mainly because he has a really, really nice kit. Um, and then I could kind of offset who I'm using for my healers and, you know, all that other jazz. Uh, but when I, when I said, I was like, oh, I just want everybody on the team to have some kind of cleanse <laughs> and we're just going to kill it. Right. So, so that, that's, that was the idea initially that I had in my mind. And when I looked at Jamie, I was like, man, he looks pretty OP. So let's talk about him for a little bit. Um, I am using him in both my speed dragons and my speed giants team, uh, just because he's an absolute boss. I started using him, uh, at, after I six started him, he was was only level 10 and he was still doing what it does uh, I'll go over his stance and I'll talk about uh, what I want to do with him obviously because uh, he's nowhere near where I want him to be but eventually he will get there so his third skill ready to charge removes the harmful effects on all allies and increases their attack power for three turns so you got a three turn attack buff yes baby that, that part looks like a chomper <laughs> it does <laughs> so, so you got a uh, a three turn attack buff, which is really really good, and the full cleanse, which which really attracted to me uh, attracted me to him in the first place. And then the second skill, chain fire, attacks with the enemy two with two arrows and attacks consecutively with a thirty percent chance. Attacks consecutively with a fifty percent chance if the enemy's HP is higher. So basically, the enemy's HP is pretty much always going to be higher than his. So let's just call it a spade a spade, and it's a fifty percent chance. <laughs> okay. Now uh, I I don't know if you guys have seen any of the bounty hunters in action with chain fire. It could just get absolutely ridiculous. Like there was one giant iteration that I was running. Uh, where he just literally just went off, just machine gun Kelly, and just <laughs> took the giant to like 25% uh, uh, health just off of one turn. It was ridiculous. So, yeah, it could be a lot, or it could just be two arrows, but most of the time he chains at least three attacks, um, and it could get really, really cool because it could keep going and going and going and going and going, which is awesome when it does happen. Um, now, his first skill, Bullseye, shoots two precise shots that are aimed for the enemy's weak spots. Each hit has a 25% chance, 25 chance to ignore defense. So if you guys have had trouble with the Bounty Hunter floor, you guys are very, very familiar uh, with that skill. Um, you know, because chances are if you guys are still running around TOA normal, if you guys had trouble with the Bounty Hunter floor, you were getting one-shotted by that uh, particular skill. So, I don't know. It's just like, what makes Jamie so good? I, I You know, I really have no idea. He's... Just this kit combination uh, with the ignore defense and then the chain fire. I mean, he has the ability, especially with a lot of crit, crit rate, uh, excuse me, crit rate, crit damage, and a lot of attack power. He could put out a lot of damage and offering the, the cleanse. I mean, he could just be sick. So I'm trying to work him right now to get him in, into, um, you know, my R5 team. Because like I said, I'm already using him for my speed, GB10 and DB10. Now, uh, after this round here after we clear this I'll, I'll go ahead and talk about uh, again like runes sample rune builds if you guys have them and you guys didn't really know what to do with them you can pretty much pick them up and put them anywhere uh, there's a couple of ways you can use them you can build them kind of like as a moderate attacker right with a little bit of HP uh, to make them a little bit more tanky if you want them more for the support and the cleanse um, while still doing damage because with the ignore defense it'll offset uh, having bad runes right um, so you can still have them have some sustainability and stay alive or 
Uh, or of course you can, um, if you have the runes, then you can go full damage. So right now, uh, what I'm doing, these are his stats right now. He's super low HP. Um, he's running at about 1600 attack. I have him at 183, so plus 73 speed. So A, he's too slow. Uh, his resistance is close to where I want it. Um, but of course I want his crit rate higher and his crit damage higher. I'm shooting for 200% crit damage with at least 70% crit rate. Um, so that's kind of where I want him there. Now there's two key things. Obviously I want to get his attack power higher. Uh, the main thing though, since I want to use him for raid, is, and I don't have any intentions of running him on Vampire, although it might be good, um, I probably would run him, if I didn't have Violent, I would run him on Swift. But, he's on a Violent Broken right now, attack crit damage, or speed crit damage attack, um, but... Uh, I'd like to get him to like an attack for damage attack with somewhere around the same speed, but I want to get him over 200 naturally and uh, do some things, and that's just going to take some rune hunting. Now, the big thing, especially like I said, for raid, um, I want to get his HP closer to 20k. Uh, you know, he has a pretty low base HP, but I mean, it's workable. I just, I want to get some better substats on him so he can still have the same damage capabilities and um, stay alive longer than a wink, you know, like, psh, and then he's gone. <laughs> so that's something I'm working on. Fortunately, my team is dealing enough damage to where most of the time he's sustained, so he's good. Naturally, like, if I miss an attack break or something, then he's out of there. But for the most part, he's really 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 good um so like i said so those are some of the things that i'm working on if you guys are wondering like let's say you guys have him sitting in your box you pull them out of your lnd scroll and you don't really know uh what you want to do with him uh he can he can literally he can fit anywhere here let me uh let me pull his transmog up so we can look at this too but he can literally fit anywhere you want giants dragons toa because i mean the big thing is like i said he has a cleanse I mean, he can put out a lot of damage, and he's not really uh, one of those units that are too difficult to build, where some units have, like, scale with speed and all that other jazz. You have to, um, you know, do so much to him. He, this unit is a little bit easier to build and can be placed pretty much anywhere. Like I said, the cleanse is huge, and the ignore defense is huge, too. Now, be wary, though, if you guys do put him in Giants early, if his chain attack chains consecutively um let's say six times seven times eight times 20 times whatever uh be prepared to receive the counter attack from the giant uh, because the giant uh counter attacks after seven hits now if you have like let's say if you're running like a basic team comp and you got megan or somebody who buffs defense like a emma uh megan is the water mystic witch and emma is the water neostone agent or any or basalt anybody that dark mammoth that buffs defense um, so if you have the defense buff up and you're stripping beneficial effects from the boss and you have attack break applied, you need not to worry about that. However, if you don't do that and the giant is landing defense break on you and you don't have his attack broken, be prepared for your dark bounty hunter to get one shot at and that's just the nature of the beast. So make sure, like I've, I've talked about in my other giants guy, that you have all of your other stuff in place. Um, and you can start to see this unit shine, especially as your runes get better and better and better. I can easily say that right now, this is he is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite units in the game. And I'm super excited to see his potential uh, in terms of PvE value. I might even throw him in guild battle to see, but I don't know. There's some other stuff that I'm working off of guild battle, but that's a topic for another video. So, with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, it's your motivational game bringing you guys another video. Have you guys any questions, comments, concerns, or if there's a unit that you would like to see me talk about, uh, definitely let me know in the box below, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.